John Daly, I'm an Indigenous Ranger from Fish River. I'm here to talk to you today about the history of fire and fire as a management tool for looking after our country. Yeah, like in the north here at the moment, we have many, many ranger programs right across the north here. And you know, when you look at cool burning, there's a lot of country that Aboriginal people have been you know, taken off or haven't got access to at the moment. So, you know, fire burning regimes with ranger programs on the country basically enables Aboriginal people to go back to their country, look after their country, care for it, and their country will care back for them, you know what I mean? And make sure that it's here for future generations. But it's also used as a teaching tool for our kids as well. You know, at Fish River here, we use fire and cool burning techniques to basically get an income from working on our country and maintaining our country. We're not only maintaining it for ourselves, we're maintaining it for our kids and future generations. And if we can make a, you know, an economic package out of it and create a job for our kids for the future, you know, it's a good tool to use. But it's also used to maintain this country so you know, in the future we, we can have this country open up for the rest of you kids in Australia and you know, it'll be in the same area that it was back when I was a kid. Nothing much has pretty much changed around my country and things like that and that's what it's about. It's about preserving it for the future generations. When I'm out here, I started out here, I came out with one one boy, one of my nephews. At the moment, you know, like we've got three fellows out here that are very young at the moment and you know, it's just creating interest for the younger generation to come back to the country, you know, like being in town is really attractive for the younger generation. There's a lot of nice things about the mod cons, but maintaining your lands traditionally is really important for an Aboriginal person. And I think if you get a younger person out here, you get them grounded, you know, they, they stay grounded to this country and they maintain it for future generations. I think they're doing the right thing. We've got a carbon trading scheme that we have up and running here in our country. Um, we started off very small three years ago. We've just sold off our first lot of carbon credits. So basically, you know, good fire management on our land basically looks after our country and keeps it in pristine order. But it also means us creating an income for future generations. So, you know, by burning correctly and reducing the amount of carbon we put in the atmosphere, we can basically trade our carbon credits to multinational companies. But you know, by doing that, we basically lock up our financial interests for the future generations to come out here and work. Mm -hmm.